Iron Man 2 leading the box office heading into the weekend, but the summer blockbuster has a very Midwest Missouri connection. News along with Patrick Clark tells us about the boy who made good and became Iron Man's right-hand man. This is really cool. It is, yeah. You know, this guy, Jimmy Jathos, he's a buddy of mine. He is director John Favreau's, literally his best friend and, and personal driver. I got a chance to Skype him yesterday to tell his story. It's safe to say that Jimmy knows a thing or two about what it takes to make the man in charge look good, especially if he happens to wear a suit of armor. Iron Man can wear a suit like nobody's business. But maybe it's the man behind the wheel who makes him look so good. Whenever he does work, he has me come and I'm his official driver. Uh, I'm in the driver's union, local 399, Teamsters. I drive him to the set. We shoot. I drive him home at night and get paid a lot of money. Jimmy Jatho's foray into Favreau's inner circle began in Fulton, Missouri. Or after he left there. I was uh, involved in the theater uh, scene in, at University of Missouri, and I had done some improvisation there. This is way back when, and some people turned me on to uh, Second City in Chicago. He met the future director and actor when the two were struggling to make ends meet. We were studying improv there together, and we were also working there uh, selling T-shirts, bartending, hosting, seating people, washing dishes together to pay for our classes. Mr. Stark. In Iron Man 2, besides directing, John Favreau plays personal driver to Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark. So is the character based on the real Jimmy Jatho? Oh, I'd like to think so. Yeah, you know, I gave him a few tips, a few pointers. No, uh, not at all. He would say, Jimmy, you're my driver. I'm going to make this all about you. But you know, when it comes down to it, it's the story. It's a Marvel story. Another early improv alum who Jatho has a job with, comedian Mike Myers. He would shave his head because Dr. Evil has a shaved head in the movie, so he would wear a wig for the Austin character and for any the other characters. Nice work if you can get it. And even better if it's people you know. It's nice to be able to work for your friends. Especially when they're some of the biggest in the business. Friends are everything. <laughs> hey. I love um, you, buddy. Right back at you. Now, Jimmy says the reason Favreau directs more these days instead of acting is so he can spend more time with his wife and three children. He likes to be home for dinner with the family every day. There's a bunch of interesting Jimmy stories that we ran out of time with. You can watch the full interview on our website at kplr11.com. Now, if I can make a personal plug, I'd be emceeing tomorrow morning the St. Louis Start Heart Walk tomorrow morning mm -hmm. at Bush Stadium. Thousands of walkers are going to take place, uh, expected to raise money and awareness for heart disease. It's free and open to everyone. The event begins at 830 at Bush Stadium, rain or shine. Hope to see you there. Let's talk to John about the weather a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It should be ahead. dry in the morning, <laughs> right? should be yeah. dry in the morning. Yes. There he is, dry in the morning. morning. <laughs> I hear, I hear, I'm hearing voices. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks.